If you're watching this video, uh, your PlayStation 3 has probably stopped reading games and or Blu-ray discs, so you want to uh, clean the lens or swap the laser. So I'm going to show you how to take the laser out. This is the uh, first of two videos. This one will be dismantling the PlayStation 3 and getting to the laser and then I will have a second video of putting it all back together again. So you don't have to watch the first video through to find out how to put it back together again if you don't want to. This is um, the PlayStation 3 Slim model so it's different from the older fatter model. I'm going to go through each bit step by step, screw by screw so you don't miss anything. Alright, the first thing you want to do is take out the screws on the back. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put my PlayStation 3 on a little towel here because otherwise it will rock and you don't want to do that. The f you're going to need a crosshead screwdriver and you're going to have to take off these little feet in all the corners. The feet in this corner is a sticker, it's not going to screw under it so you can leave that one. So there's three from the corners and then you will see there are some little black plastic squares and there are more screws underneath there so you just pop those up and then you want to keep everything safe and together so you don't get confused putting things back. Pop these and remove the extra screws here. There's a hidden screw underneath this plastic sticker here. Mine is already said void because I've taken it apart before, but this sticker here, when you remove this to get to the screw, will void your warranty. So it'll change color and say void once you go underneath. But there's another big screw under there. The screw under here is easy to miss because of the sticker covering it, but it's another big one. And then under this big panel here, there is a Smaller blue screw. Right, I'm going to keep all those together because they are the screws from underneath. Next, you have to take out these three security screws down the front. Now they're strange looking, they're sort of, um, they're security screws and they've got a little uh, bit sticking up in the middle so you're going to have to use the right screwdriver for that. And the bit I'm using is a T9H and it looks like a little focus. Anyway, it's the right size for that, so I would recommend you go out and get the right screwdriver for that, rather than jamming any old screwdriver in there until it fits. Because you can damage the screw, and then you'll never get it out. But with the right screwdriver, then you can pick up the electronic store, hardware store. It will pop straight out. I'm going to stick those with the screws for under the feet, so I can keep all these screws together. Yes, with the right screwdriver bit, it's far easier. Okay, now flip it over. The top of the case should now come off. Lift it from the back, and to the front, and there we go. Uh, you should look pretty much exactly the same as this, apart from yours here will be intact because I'm assuming you've never taken it apart before. Uh, okay, you're going to have to take these screws out of the fan. One and two black screws out of this fan here. You can lift the fan up and put it to one side and to make sure you don't lose the screw fans I'm just going to lightly put them back in here and therefore it'll be easier when you put it back together because you'll know where these screws are from. And take out these two here, just so you can see it, with these little silver parts here attached to the white and black wires. You should lift up easily. There'll be um, little strands of white tape that you will have to pull off or rip through. But that's fine, it's just to keep them tidy. 
and I'm just going to put this screw back in its hole so that I don't lose it and I know exactly where it's from. Okay, next I am going to uh, remove these clips uh, with these cables. So on this left hand side there is a grey and white cable and I'm just going to ease that out. And just push down on the tab and then wiggle it around and it will come out. On the right hand side I have got some grey cables and they just wiggle out and then some white cables and I believe they just wiggle out too. Yes, they do. Then on either side of here on this back panel there are two more screws. I'm going to unscrew those. Okay. Should pop out. Much easier when you've got um, a magnetic screwdriver so just suck those screws up and then you don't risk dropping them into the PlayStation. After those are out, this should lift up. There we go. Put that to one side. I'm just going to put these two screws back in so I don't lose them. Move this uh, black and white cable from the side because you're going to be taking out this drive here and we don't want it in the way. Next, behind here you'll see there's one black screw. So I'm going to unscrew that. Just one black screw here and then this. And then you'll be able to lift the drive out. But the drive is kind of, it has little feet that stick underneath here. So you want to lift this forward and then the drive will lift up where this silver uh, length attaches it goes into a white base with a black ring around it and you put your nail underneath the black part and flip it up and then this just pulls clean out and that should be the drive out. Right, so we're done with the actual PlayStation for now. Just put that to one side. You're left with the drive. If you're replacing the whole drive, then you should have a new one of those and you should be done. If you're replacing the laser, you're gonna have to go inside. So I got three screws on the top here. And then you flip it over. And you'll find some more screws on the bottom. These are tiny little screws, so make sure you've got the right size screwdriver for it. I've got two small ones at either side, and then there's one hiding in near the middle, which is easy to miss. This is the first time you've taken the drive off, there will be um, some black tape around the edge. You're going to have to peel that off to get inside. But after those screws are out, the casing, after you've taken out the tape, should Pop off. And this little um, white bit is going to be annoying and going to fall out by itself, so I'm going to take that out and put it to one side until I put it back together. Right, so we're looking at this side now, and you've got some more little tabs here. And you're going to you're going to see that there's little flaps with a sort of brownish orange one here and if I grab it and wiggle it I can pull out this and then there's a blue one here I can wiggle and pull that one out and then a larger blue one and that one should also wiggle out there you go 
pulls out. Right. After that, there should be one more hiding underneath. Oh, this is quite annoying to take out. There's a little black piece here, and you push on it with your finger and lift up. If I can get a grip on it and lift it. Right. You push down a little slip and lift it straight up, and then it should slide out forward. And then there should be another cable attached to the underside. Underneath, there's a fat one. And to get that out, you have to go on underneath. And then there's a little black piece. You put your nail under it and you clip it up and then release the. There we go. Just the little black piece here clips up and then this pops out. Okay, now we are at this is here is the Blu-ray laser and it is held down by four big screws on each corner. And this should just lift out. And that's your Blu-ray laser removed and the lenses are on the other side, so if you're going to attempt to clean it first and then put it back in. You'll clean these two uh, lenses here with cleaning alcohol, but I've overdone that and it's still broken, meaning I need to replace the whole drive, a uh, whole laser, so I'm going to be putting it all back together with a new laser and you can see that in part two of the video where I rebuild it all again. Thank you for watching, I hope it was helpful.